Hello, hello everybody. It's Pizza Lover 346 here and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Last time we finished up the Sonic 3 half of this game pretty swiftly and easily uh, and headed into Mushroom Hill Zone. This time we're diving into the Sonic and Knuckles half with Mushroom Hill Zone and oh, shh, cutscene. The rap <laughs> Knuckles. What's he doing? Oh, fool. Left his switch open. I'm gonna see what he's hiding. I'm gonna see what he's hiding. What is he hiding? <gasps> Flashy big ring! Welcome to the Hidden Palace. And goodbye, Super Sonic. Yep. As we dive into the Sonic and Knuckles portion, we bid adieu to the Chaos Emeralds. Planting themselves here as Super Emeralds. We got seven new bonus stages to try. These ones are hard, so wish me luck. Uh, yeah, I cannot promise good performance, but I'm gonna try to try my very best for you guys. Try very hard to do very well. I'm actually gonna hop. Huh. From what I saw, yeah. Okay. Right, there's some blue over there. Speed gets a little, uh, a little intense, huh? Did I spy any blue spheres? Take it easy. Okay, so we want to left, left, left. Boom, baby. Whew. Yeah, these levels are tough. I like to go from left to right. There are some that are harder than others. So, you know, we'll see how I do. I can't promise we'll get every Super Emerald initially. I can promise that I will show you guys a nifty way to double back. That's what I can promise. Because there is a cool way to to break the game a little bit. Do, 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 do. Can I get up there? Not like that. I know how I can though. So we don't have to worry about getting 50 rings and becoming super because we can't. Uh, but, you know, obviously rings are still nice to have. I'm still a big old geek i think i just missed a total like platforming section you may recognize this level from the trailer for this playthrough how many weeks ago is that now right goodness um i'm gonna go this way i don't recall what is where so we're just gonna we're gonna experiment and find out i'm gonna embrace the spirit of sonic 3 and knuckles and just See what we can't find. This bugaboo wants us. We don't want the bugaboo though. Dang! Shoot. Guess we won't see what's up there then. Around the loop de loop. We. Okay, nothing in this wall. Anything fun over here that isn't just like a bad mech? No. Man. Always worth checking. We're checking and looking. I will say, it's the Sonic and Knuckles half of this game, this back half is very unfamiliar to me. I am not super great and consistent about collecting all the hyper em or the super emeralds to get hypersonic, so. Oh no! Uh uh. I can do that, no problem. Dude. 
so close. <laughs> I know I'm just wasting time, but I want to know what's up here. What if there's secrets, dude? That's what Sonic's all about, is looking for secrets. Ooh, speaking of. Ah, can't get up there. I was hoping the mushrooms would guide me above. Because there's definitely something up there, and I want to go up there, but I can't. Man, that's okay. Still cool loop-de-loops and stuff. Oh, no uppies for me. Uppies for me. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, this game is kind of wild. Let's go this way. Let's see what kind of what kind of cool uppies there are. There's one thing I've learned from playing way too many Sonic games. So you should always check for uppies. They usually have the good stuff. Extra life. See? The good stuff. Uppies. No bonus ring, but extra life good. Fuego shield, huh? We're still in Act 1, aren't we? Wow. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, this game gets big. I just remember the part where I have a fire shield. I only have to stress about that axe, not about the flames. This The fire shield's so good for bosses, for exactly what you just saw there. Where you can sort of just, uh, you can sort of just ignore their little flame thrusters because you're immune to fire. And that's super great, like... It's really good being immune to fire. <laughs> Mushroom Hill Zone Act 2. I really like Mushroom Hill Zone. I think it's a super unique zone. I think it's a super fun zone. I think there's nothing quite like Mushroom Hill Zone. Dang it. Knuck Knuckles. Knuckles, come on, man. I found your secret switches. Knuckles, come on, man. Knuckles! Oh, and now it's fall. I think it's a super cool zone. It's the opener to if you just play Sonic and Knuckles. This is the stage you start on, um, which is super fun. And I just really like it. We don't need that water shield or that bubble shield, rather, because we have a fire shield. We're kind of already, already all set. Yeah, it does just bring me back up there. Okay. I was like, what is this for? We'll go this way. Cool. The enemies here are harder. Like, you can see the natural progression from Sonic 3 to Sonic and Knuckles. Like, how these levels are in the order they are. But I will say you can also very clearly see this is the first level of a game. And that's something I'm really impressed with the Sonic 3 designers for doing is they, they sort of made sure to have a good opening zone halfway through their game. Like, Mushroom Hill Zone is absolutely a first zone in Sonic. Just like any other first zone in a Sonic game. And it's super good at its job, just like any other first zone in a Sonic game. But it also ramps up the challenge in comparison to Sonic 3 in such a way that you still feel like you're naturally progressing through a game if you go the way we are through Sonic 3 directly into Sonic and Knuckles as intended. Dude, I know you're hiding secrets from me. Stop with the spring. I guess you're not hiding secrets from me. Okay. That's secrets though. Boom! Okay. Whew. Alright, alright. As you can see, the emerald gets colored in when we collect it. Okay, this one's not easy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whew, okay. Sorry for going fully silent. That one, if you take a wrong turn at any moment, you're done. There is no room for error. Oh my goodness. That stage is totally brutal. But we got it. That's another Super Emerald in the books. Whew. Just because I'm not confident doesn't mean we're not going to try. Alright, secret acquired and color palette change. Oh, we can totally get up there. A little more bouncing. Think like a tigger. Whoa, check this out. All these shields and goodies and... Well, I just wanted the, the lightning shield, and we now have bubble shield, which is fine. Wow, um, okay. That certainly just happened. Sorry, intentionally going the wrong slash obtuse direction to see what's there. Ultimately just rings, but you know, that's fine. Boom, another big ring. Heck yeah, baby. Okay. Here we go again. More bonus stage. Uh-oh, which one is this? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Wow, okay, okay. I think I did that one wrong. Okay, no, that's cool. We'll get it next time. Uh, yeah. If you thought I blundered the Sonic 3 segment bonus stages, you're in for a treat. Something tells me that I will be gimmicking my way through some of these. There's a really cool way you can get retries. I don't know how early I can do it, so I don't know how early I can show you. I will try my darndest to show you, though. If I have to. You know, I, you know, maybe... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll suddenly get a turn of skill and find all these big rings and totally get it. Check out this boss fight, by the way. This cool, like, pseudo 3D effect. Going through these arches. There's a real sense of momentum here. Love this boss fight. Super good boss fight. Boom, baby. Critters freed. Sonic got through Act 2. That's Mushroom Hill Zone in the bag. Here comes another really cool zone. The flying battery. Look at it go. Sonic grabs on and we're ready to roll. Enjoy this music real quick. zone, albeit not one of my favorite zones, has such amazing music. This game is riddled with awesome music, and Flying Battery is right there with the best of them. Oh man, that said, this is the zone that told me something was wrong with Sonic, th Sonic and Knuckles when I was playing it on its lonesome as a kid. Well, actually, it's the zone that made me think I was just bad at video games. Like, really, really mega bad. Check this out. Flying Battery is where these little capsules are manufactured. And they can spray out all sorts of things, including rings. So we're going to see a lot of phony capsules. 
which is kind of cool, as well as this pseudo 3D spiraler. I totally, like, I, I, don't get me wrong, I was bad at video games as a kid, and I would struggle to get past the second zone of pretty much every Sonic game I played. But Sonic and Knuckles, it was especially apparent. This game, this level infuriated me. I was like, this is so much more difficult than Chemical Plant or Marble Zone will ever be. Or even Hydro City. That's right, I can say it that way too. <laughs> even Hydrocity was easier than this. And I was like, what in the world? Did they just crank up the difficulty? Why is Sonic and Knuckles so hard? None the wiser to the fact that this is supposed to be a pretty late game zone. This zone comes beyond the number of zones most Sonic games have, if I'm not mistaken, and or when most Sonic games would be finishing. Oh, it is tricky. A lot of fun mechanics, a lot of use of the pseudo 3D. Ooh. Nice, extra life. I'm trying to collect those where I can, because I have a feeling I'm going to end up using them. Just because I'm not very good at video games, believe it or not. I know I do these Let's Plays where I go super in-depth and play these games as thoroughly as I can, and get all the things, and you know, I do all that, but I'm actually not very good. <laughs> Which is okay, because I am good at preparing. There was definitely an invincibility power up the other way. I think that's all there was, is the good news, but... I have definitely gone the other way and gotten invincibility. There's a capsule that's just a spring. I am fully unawares of where big rings are in this stage. I'm gonna be completely honest. I know there's one in one of the acts that involves me jumping into a weird area that if I'm on the wrong thing can totally get me crushed. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Just know that I, I'm pretty likely to, to mess up or to not get any super emeralds this level. We're still in it to win it, though. This is very spring yard zoney. Hold on, yeah, this one's rotating in a good way. Spring yard zone! <laughs> wow. Oof. It's a dead end, whatever shall I do? Bomb the roof and then go in. Whoops, okay. Oops, this is supposed to be way cooler. I apologize, that's... Wow. I really dropped the ball there. This boss fight is so cool. So, fake capsule. It tries to attack you. You have to be standing on its spring. And then walk off. And it'll hit itself trying to hit you which I think is super duper cool. This is one of many bosses in this half of this game that are so very like, you just let them damage yourself. If you remember Sonic CD, where there's a lot of bosses who want you to sort of environmentally harm them, this is definitely the natural progression of that. Love that boss, and that's act one of Flying Battery Zone. Woo! Do, 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 do. The Thunder Shield is baller in this stage. So these corkscrew things here... One of them, its left wall has a bonus stage. And I don't know which one. I do know. If I mess it up on the wrong one, I die. 
So let's not... <laughs> let's not die. Let's start with that. That's my, that's my beginner's criteria here is try not to die. That fake capsule, I believe, just has enemies in it. Oh god, it might be this one. It might be this one. I think it is. Nope. Okay. Okay. Whew. I believe it's one that goes up. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> it's not easy. This level's not easy. This game's not easy. But you know what? We can, we can get through it. Because we are, in fact, pro gamers. This won't fling me up, will it? Nope. I wonder if that thing that falls out has any secrets below it. Don't know. Oof. Alright. Ha! Oh, nope. We're gonna do that again. There we go. Woo! guys are like well, springs and switches in disguise. This this level's kind of weird. Magnetics, uh oh. Huh. Okay. These things are totally liable to crush you, by the way. I, I know I've said that multiple times, but I'm I'm sincere, I'm serious man. This level is liable in looking to crush you. So just be careful. <laughs> you know, try very, very hard to not let it do that. As much as it wants to. At least it's got baller music. That's what I will say. It's Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Baller soundtrack or baller music. Baller game. Secrets? No secrets. Okay. Always gotta check. It's gonna come down, yeah. Okay, it might be this one. Oof. Going for it? Nope. Okay. Okay. Made it out. This this game, man. If you ever wanted a game that's just risk reward to the max. Here's a boss. I can't hit. Yeah. I think you see where this is going. Second flying battery boss is also just an environmental boss. You can see Eggman, Robotnik, whatever you wish to call him here. Uh, we'll call him Dr. Robotnik for now. Just piloting this thing, trying to shoot me, and it just keeps shooting the flying battery, and the space keeps closing in. Blows up on him. The door opens, and we give chase through a crumbling, terrifying flying battery. Peace, plenty of rings. Yeah, that's not the entire boss of this level. You wish. You wish it was the entire boss of this level. No, it gets weirder. It gets crazier. I, I think this is called the Egg Flamer or the Egg Flamethrower. I don't really know. Just know if you cross across its middle component, it stops and shoots flames. It's gonna rotate a couple times and you can you can mine a couple hits off of it. 
Boom. That easy. Not too bad, but yet another boss in our way of completing Act 2 of Flying Battery Zone. Onward and forward to the next zone. What a strange transition that was. Welcome to Sandopolis Zone. I'm excited to dive into it, but we're just about at time. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles, we'll dive into the desert ruins of Sandopolis Zone. See you then.